I'm currently at the University of Washington in Seattle and moved from uh, Washington University in St. Louis about two months ago. So my lab is really interested in how circuits are built in the nervous system and we've been focusing on the retina pretty much all my life, uh, adult life at least. And uh, we use a variety of uh, imaging technology and electrophysiology to just try and understand the interactions important for how cells uh, build up circuits during development. I have currently uh, seven students and postdocs, all of whom moved with me, mainly because I think they like the, the sea more than anything else. And uh, we have in the past been extremely collaborative and one of the attractions of uh, the new place is that there are lots of collaborations. So we like to work with others who have skills that we don't have, for example, in molecular techniques, as I really am a physicist in the past. And we understand optics uh, a lot and physiology, but nowadays you really need to pretty much approach development through a lot of different approaches. And even if one does not have the expertise, it'll be great to collaborate with people to find new approaches. So we like to collaborate. I think neural development would be an extremely important and new format uh, as well as a platform for anyone interested in all aspects or any aspects of development per se to be able to put in their articles and reach a, you know, with the open access system a far, far a wider audience than one possibly can. And so I'm very supportive of this journal. I think it's a great idea because I think it really reaches a lot more people and I think it will also allow many different fields of development to come together uh, yet with the focus on the nervous system. And I do not think currently there's anything like that that can pull all these different disciplines together into one open access journal. So I'm really for it. So development is a rapidly changing feel in the sense that it draws on the strengths of many different techniques and approaches. And those things also change very, very quickly. So I think it's very important to be able to get uh, different results and um, whatever findings one has very quickly out there because again we are talking about a field that is rapidly changing and if you want everyone to know what's going on then an open access format will allow people to get at the observations much more rapidly. So I think this is a very very good way of getting the information out there. One of the um, important things that I found when you study the, in the field of neurodevelopment is that you are constantly making observations of a system that is changing. So one very good way of representing how what your observations really are are through movies and personally in my lab we like to generate a lot of movies and in an open access format as well as in an online type of publication you should be able to go in there, especially uh, with what we're trying to offer with neurodevelopment, um, to represent your data in a form of movies. So you gain a sense of the dynamics of the observation, as well as the real-time changes that one actually visualize, for example, with imaging technology. So I think it doesn't limit you to what you can present on printed figures, for example. You'll be able to kind of visualize what the uh, authors themselves might have visualized when they were doing the experiments. So I like that format very much. And I think it's important for, for development per se. So I'm really happy to be on a team with Andrew Lumsden, Bill Harris and Josh Saines, um, whom I've known actually for some time. I guess I recently met Andrew, but I've highly respected their science as well as their ability to promote science and to handle manuscripts and the review process. So I agreed to be on the editorial board largely because I think it would be great to work with uh, these champions in the field. And I think it will be really good as a team to be able to cover different aspects of development, draw on each other's strengths, as well as help each other along to try and help everyone else along the field to be able to get the observations out there. So I think being on this editorial board is A, going to be challenging, but also going to be very exciting because they're great people to work with. I have been pretty privileged of being institutions where one can access any journals that one would like. And so it really has helped our research to be able to know what's out there and to be able to go to meetings, of course. But there are many uh, other laboratories around the world that really do not have opportunities like that where they can gain access to 
publications, as soon as the publications come out. So I think in the future, open access is going to be a very important way of um, being able to get your information to anybody, not just those at institutions that can afford to be able to gain that information. And this is, I think, very important. It will A, help developing countries, but also cause you know, a lot more interactions between different places and between different levels of scientists and people. So I think this is going to be the way of the future. And um, most people have computers and it will be really easy for them to be able to log in and download any information they want on the field that they are interested in without having to depend on a library, for example, to be able to get that information for them. So I think this will be really, really good.